All right, Dave, now here, one, two, three, Dave, try, trying to catch a, a move. Right here is um, one half P. Real quick, we're at the Fibonacci 38.2 or 61.8%. That's what I played. I played the 50% earlier. Now I'm playing the 38.2%. Looking for a 3P move if there's some strength here in the last 15 minutes. Capture as much profit as I can here. Um, I'd like to see a quick move. I'd like to see it push through 179.04 is actually the, the mark. 79.04. I'll hold 43. We'll just go ahead and take as much as we can on this. Know your numbers, right? Know your numbers. Every down has been followed by a move back. It's been um, it's been that uh, that kind of way for the last uh, 30 minutes or so. Getting to that last 10 minutes of the day on a Friday, and took a shot at the last that last Fibonacci number. Now it's uh, trying to go back up there. This down move has not, uh, or this move, this GAN signal I'm trying to trade has not been conducive to uh, taking the trade on. Just kind of scalping my way through to plus 20 right now. Ticks on four trades. All right, I'll pause here and see if there's anything else to do. I might have missed this move here. Come, yeah. I projected this move to happen, though. That's what I was waiting on towards the end. That's why I'm. That's why I put the video on. Because I was looking at this move right there, and then us, I, I was hoping that we'd come back down. We have an extension move. It'd be kind of cool if it would happen, but uh, here's your little extension. Make a move all the way back to 7801. It's a 10 minute chart you're looking at right there. It's getting close to the end of the trading day, though. Things are starting to move back and forth. <sighs> Pausing here. Be back if I see something really good. All right, if it moves, it's going to move without me. It's uh, too close to the 130 mark right now for me to feel comfortable about putting on a trade. It could easily run up or down in the last couple of minutes or could settle right in here and lose some money. I'm going to hold on to my 20 tick gain. Um, now this is the account after uh, the first week of trading in the funded account. Uh, it's, they give you a real number here because it's uh, $5.04 per round turn. 5.04 times 4 trades is 20.16 less uh, 200 179.84 net today yesterday I ended the day at 309.52 I pull up uh, top step trader let me pause and I'll bring that up all right so here's my account um, coach two let me get rid of that all right, so 309.52 plus 179.84 today. So I'm at 489.36 after commission costs. So 
so four days of trading this week. I didn't. I, I got the account on uh, Tuesday. I'm using just the one minute chart, and I don't have volume figures that I like to see. So I'm just kind of grinding it right now, working my way to five thousand. So this is the the account, and um, these were my fills today. I had four fills. Uh, let's see the markets kind of meandering back and forth here. A trading, I'm trading the last, uh, looking at the market at uh, 12 o'clock CST time and trading to 1.30. So I'm looking at the last hour and a half of trading. Ideally, I'm trying to pull out at least a 1.5p per trade that I put in. This right here would have been 1.5p based upon this up here at 79.60. Quickly, my trades centered around today uh, on the Fibonacci numbers I tried here at 61, 50, and 38.2. None of these trades worked out as far as uh, making a move. Um, Fibonacci extension off the 79.60 coincides basically to 61.8%. I really liked, I, I, this is what I was thinking, if we get up here to the the 38.2 percent retracement we had a shot to shoot down here towards close or at least maybe reach back down to the, to the lows of the day. Um, market didn't want to move towards the end of the day. You've got employment numbers. You have all the other economic stuff that came out today. So there's a reason behind why things stay the same. Also it's a Friday. Fridays are very uh, different trading sometimes. Uh, they can do a little bit of everything on a Friday. It can go up and down sideways and go in circles it seems like at times. It just seems like it can do a little bit of everything. All right. So that's going to do it for this video and I just wanted to bring you up to speed on the week. So after four days of trading I'm sitting at about 489 point, well, actually I am sitting at 489.36 after four days of trading and uh, working my way to that 5,000 mark. That's the goal right now and then debate about if they're going to work with me right now, I don't have all the bells and whistles to the uh, uh, CTS platform. They they told me I have to buy the advanced charting package at $200, and I just refuse to do that. So I'm using the information that I know how to trade, uh, and I'm using the afternoon session that that uh, and just I guess in a sense kind of scalp on the way to 5,000 to to then make a decision if I want to keep it at uh, top step or move it to a, another account you know I'm looking into trading view and some other things and see if, uh, if what kind of tip charts and uh, I got thinkorswim and you got trade station there's all kinds of other options out there <clears throat> but you get hundred percent of the first five thousand and maybe I just stay at uh, at top step maybe I trade it to withdraw twenty five hundred and keep the other twenty five hundred there keep on trading, keep on scalping away. I don't know. I haven't made up my mind what the hell I want to do. But needless to say, I, 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 I think that you should be able to uh, have the same platform as you have in step one and step two into the funded and not have to pay. But that CTS thing, CTS has a demo account with all the bells and whistles and then their live freaking account doesn't have all the bells and whistles, doesn't have tick charts, doesn't have... Uh, Second volume I like to see and odds and ends that I like to look at. So spike volume that I look for. I got to kind of figure where that spike volume is in a sense. Uh, thinking about and I, can, I can't do any tick charts. The most I can go down here. You can see this would say custom if it was. And there's no custom. So this is all you have. One week, one hour. One, so the furthest I can go down is the one minute chart. So that's what I'm using at a one minute chart and off this side, I have a 10 minute chart. I look at basically what I do with this chart is there's nothing on here other than price action and the pivot points and then Fibonacci as I, as I see them. So those are what I'm using. The, and then what I do basically is I start the day looking at the dailies and I go from the daily and then I look at from there I go to the hourly. I've, I've shown you guys this over and over before. And then hour, I go into 10 minutes and 15 minutes. So I like to look at the 10 minute chart. So 10 times, 10x, right? So 10x, the one minute pretty much is what I'm looking at. So that's kind of the theory, like the one on one and the 333 tick charts that I was using with the 
10 minute chart to keep uh, the 333 and the 1111 uh, kind of works as like a, a minute chart and the 10 the 10 minute chart kind of works as that 10x that I'm looking at the market a little bit further out to see if there's anything that I'm missing as far as um, uh, odds and ends that would you know is it, what kind of support what kind of resistance uh, the 10 minute chart and the other charts will show up you know the pivot points and a little bit more right now you, in the one minute chart you really can't see anything the, these horizontal lines are from the previous day and you can see we kind of traded inside that those horizontal lines to be honest so that was some of the high volume from the previous day uh, that I put the horizontal line in so now you look at that we pretty much had a what I would call an inside trading day in a sense um, inside those volume figure and I didn't want to go down or above that volume figure at all today during the trading session okay this is Dave Knight here at 123daytrade.com thank you for watching thank you for being here see you on the next video that I put together bye for now